In this video, I'm going to show you an easy and quick method to convert Markdown to HTML. In this example, we've got a Google Sheet in column A. It's all in Markdown. If I click into one of these cells, you can see there is a article that's all written in Markdown. What we want is to convert it and we're going to put it over here in column C and it will be in HTML. And from there, we can do whatever we want with it. Most likely upload it into a CMS as a blog post or an article. And in addition to that, we can put inline styling. Just before we get into the conversion process, just want to run through why Markdown is used and why it's so powerful. So just on a basic web converter here, if on the left I put in a title for an article, we could just put in, say this one here, convert Markdown to HTML. You can see on the right that typing the same title in HTML is much more difficult and the readability is pretty poor. The real power of Markdown is to be able to write in plain text using a Markdown convention, which then can be interpreted by software as HTML. And you can then see the plain text or the marked up view here. So that is really why Markdown is used. A lot of tools can output in Markdown, but generally software is used to convert it. If we have a look at another example here, in this tool, we've generated a heap of Markdown text and to highlight the difficulty in readability if it's generated in HTML. If we look at the same content in HTML, you can see you really can't read it. There could be mistakes and other things, but in the Markdown view, really simple, easy to understand. Alrighty, we're going to convert our Markdown, which is in a Google Sheet, to HTML. We're going to use the tool called Make. It does the conversion from Markdown to HTML really quick and it's really easy. So let's take a look at it. Once you have an account in Make set up, you'll get to a screen. It'll probably be blank, but when you're finished, it's going to look like this. So we're going to have this Google Sheet action here, and then it's going to convert our range, which is going to be a selection of cells, which includes our markdown content. Then the rows that those cells exist in are going to be updated with a new column on the row, and it's going to have the HTML. So let's create this scenario here and I'll show you how it works. So I'm going to recreate the one I've already done here so you can see it. Go create a new scenario and we'll just click this one here. We will look for Google Sheets and what we want to do is select some cells, get a range of values I think it was. I'll just close this one for now and then we're going to get the markdown one. Markdown to HTML is what we're after and then we are going to Google Sheet and we are going to update a row. So we have this Google Sheet here, and in column A here, we have the body text, which is in Markdown. If I just click on one here, you can see it's in Markdown. You can see that by the hashes and the other formatting in the Markdown language. There are four Markdown articles here. This is the title, that's just in plain text, and we've got this new column C, and this is where our converted Markdown content is going to go. If we go back to our make tool. So we'll just click on here and it's going to ask for the connection to your to your Google Drive. So let's just do that. We can select our spreadsheet from a list. So so I've selected the Google Sheet from the drive, which is MD to HTML converter, which we just took a look at. The sheet name, there's only one sheet in it, which is MD to HTML. And the range, so the range I want in this case is just A2 to A5, but if you had 100 or 200 articles here you could just select that that range so for now we'll just do a2 to a5 contains headers now over to our markdown tool we just want to grab the markdown text which is this column a here body text markdown sanitize no we don't want to sanitize it and then we just go over to our sheet so choose the method let's select it by the path we're just grabbing our file again here and we'll grab the file the sheet name, it's the same sheet, we're just updating a row on it. The row number, now this is important, don't actually type the row number in. What you want to do is just pick row number. Just in this one here, this is going to be our HTML text. And to do that, we just click on this one here, HTML, and that's coming from the Markdown conversion. So I think we're actually done. So we'll just press OK on that. Now you can see over here on the left here, this first one's got a clock on it, which means it's going to be scheduled. But for this type of thing, we generally won't want to schedule it. There are reasons why you might want to. But what we can do is just put this to be on demand. So we'll go OK. And we're just going to run this once. 
All right, so our conversion has successfully completed. Let's take a look at the output. On our spreadsheet here, our Google Sheet, we can see now column C has been updated. If I click in here, we can see that all our markdown has been successfully converted to HTML. We could add inline styling to this and make it any look any the way we, we want for uploading into our CMS or whatever else you want to do with it. Hope you got some value from this video. If you did, consider giving it a like and subscribe to the channel. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll catch you in the next one.